Welcome to our YouTube channel dedicated to exploring the latest insights and opportunities in the world of finance and investments. With a special focus on currency revaluation, gold and silver investments, cryptocurrency, and make money online opportunities, and more. If you're interested in staying up to date on the latest developments in currency revaluation, particularly the Iraq dinar and other currencies, best to subscribe to this channel. Please note that the content on this YouTube channel is for informational purposes only and should not be considered financial advice. We are not licensed financial advisors, and the opinions expressed on this channel are based on our own research and personal experience. We strongly recommend that you do your own research and consult with a licensed financial advisor. Also, just before we go any further, this channel has a weekly giveaway of 100 Dogecoin. To enter, all you have to do is be subscribed to this channel, like this video, and watch this video until the end because if you don't, you'll be automatically disqualified from the giveaway. We will be sharing the random hashtag keyword daily and then comment hashtag the keyword in the comment section. Also, today being Sunday, we will be announcing the lucky weekly winner from this week's giveaway. Good luck. Now, let's continue with the latest direct in our Intel provider news today. Please take any of these information with a grain of salt and do your own research. From Intel Guru Mark Z via PDK, what's of the HCL? We are watching what is going on in the Kurdish region and money is suddenly flowing. And they are saying things are now in Baghdad's hands. I'm surprised we haven't seen that the HCL was done last week. From Newshound Guru Bradley, you have Iran and the Revolutionary Guard. Yemen saying they're going to get revenge. More is going to happen. That's why there's warships headed toward the Lebanese coast right now, in anticipation towards this. From Newshound Guru Jeff, Iraq just competed their five-year development plan. That's basically the reform plan. They completed the reform plan. That's a required step for their accession to the world trade. From Newshound Guru Samson article, it is noteworthy that tens of billions of dinars have been recovered in recent months through operations to track down corrupt individuals, especially those who fled abroad. From Newshound Guru Claire article, U.S. Treasury takes control of Iraq's central bank to combat money laundering. Quote, the three sources confirmed that a team of American employees is working permanently at the Central Bank of Iraq as part of intensive efforts to ensure Iraq's commitment to international standards for combating money laundering and terrorist financing. One of the sources explained that the governor of the Central Bank of Iraq tried to resist these restrictions, but the American response was strict, as the Central Bank of Iraq was included among the institutions considered to support money laundering operations and failure to comply with sanctions. From Newshound Guru Tishwash article, U.S. Treasury takes control of Iraq's Central Bank to combat money laundering. What better way to take control over the money than to move into the CBI itself? If this is true, and I believe it is, well. From Newshound Guru Militia Man, the theft of the century. It's a big deal. It's in the forefront again. They're going to claw back a lot of money. A lot of money. Why is that important to you and I? If they claw back a lot of money, it all goes back to the treasury. Tens of billions of dinars or multiple billions of dollars. It's all clawed back from people that stole their money from the citizens. We'd have to pay out on that 988 billion dinars if they were able to keep them. Finding this stuff is amazing. It's really good for the country, citizens, and it's really good for you and I. From Newshound Guru Claire article, Arab currencies top the list of the strongest in the world. Is the Iraqi dinar among them? Quote, four Arab currencies top the list of the 10 most powerful currencies in the world out of 180 currencies recognized by the United Nations. One, Kuwaiti dinar, equivalent to $3.27. Two, Bahraini dinar, $2.65. The Bahraini dinar is pegged to the US dollar and is used exclusively in Bahrain, which has a large expatriate community. Three, Amani Rail, $2.60. Four, Jordanian dinar, $1.41. Five, British pound, $1.26. Six, Gibraltar pound, $1.26. Seven, Cayman Islands dollar, $1.20. Eight, Swiss franc, $1.14. Nine, 
Euro, $1.08. 10. US dollar, $1. From Newshound Guru Caperoni article, Iraq speeds up steps to join WTO. Those that follow me know that we posted information that stated the Central Bank of Iraq planned to end the currency auctions at the end of this year. Joining the WTO sometime next year would also benefit them. From Newshound Guru Bradling, the Central Bank of Iraq. They want to do what Washington wants them to do. They want to be part of the international community. But the problem is, there are these private banks and different financial instruments in Iraq that are completely in bed with Iran. There seems to be a problem with separation. So the United States is going to punish Iraq for not being able to handle it correctly is what's going to happen. The United States is saying enough is enough. We're not screwing around anymore. We're protecting the financial system as much as possible but it's being abused by people who don't like us. From Newshound Guru Jeff, Iraq's accession to the world trade will need a few more months. From Newshound Guru Samson, article, legal violations in the work of the central bank prompt demands to replace its governor, Ali Alalak. Quote, today, Saturday, the economic expert, Abbas al Basil, stressed the necessity of replacing the governor of the central bank of Iraq. Before ending with the last update, the hashtag keyword for the 100 Dogecoin giveaway is IntelliInvest. This will be for next Sunday's giveaway. Now, let's announce who's the lucky winner of the 100 Dogecoin. The lucky winner is shown on the screen. Congratulations! Please contact us via email and the email contact will be provided under the description of this video. On the email, please use 100 Dogecoin winner in the subject line and provide your Dogecoin address. We will also reply to your original comment if you are at least a basic member of this channel and let you know that you are the winner as well. You have four days to claim your prize. Okay, let's move on from Intel Guru Ray Ren 98. Sources are saying that the RV was supposed to hit the banks on Saturday. The current status is high alert and some have reported to work early this evening. Time will tell. And finally the last one from Newshound Guru Militia Man. Here's some fun. Article 4 Arab currencies top the list of the strongest in the world. Is the Iraq dinar among them? Why in the world would you bring up the Iraqi dinar when it's a 1310? Why would you say that? Everybody and their brother knows around the world that it's lousy. It's terrible. That's all for the latest updates on the Iraq dinar. What are your thoughts of all the articles or news coming from Iraq and opinions from these intel providers? Also, we released a major news article video the other day. In this video, we dove into Tony's latest video where he broke down significant updates regarding Iraq's banking reforms and policy changes. Tony addresses the U.S. Treasury's actions to combat money laundering and terrorist financing, particularly targeting Al Huda Bank. He also discussed the U.S. support for Iraq's financial sector reforms, aiming to enhance transparency and trade financing by expanding correspondent relationships and transitioning to electronic platforms. Additionally, Tony touched on the broader geopolitical implications, including recent events involving Hamas in Iran, and emphasized the importance of understanding these changes for Iraq's economic future. Please make sure to check out this video, and the video link is on the top right of this video. Lastly, please drop a comment below with hashtag and the keyword and let us know what you think. If you like this content and like to support this channel, please don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification so you get notified when new videos are uploaded. See you on the next video.